Hey, I'm Rob from JustTheRoad.com and I'm going to show you how to play El Grande using the 2023 edition. This is a game for two to five players, plays in about 120 minutes, is designed by Wolfgang Kramer and Richard Ulrich, and this version is published by Hans in Gluck. Players will play cards to gain meeples and decide turn order for the round. They will then draft cards to take actions and place meeples on the board to control areas of Spain, most points after nine rounds wins. So subscribe for just two board game videos a month and check out the description for links to my socials and Patreon. On with the game. So I'll start by covering the rules for four and five players. I'll then go through the changes for the three player game. I'll then go through the additional changes for the two player game. And then finally, we'll look at the mini expansions included in the 2023 edition of El Grande. So set up for the four and five player game starts by placing the board on the table on the four to five player side, shown in the top right of the board. Let's sort out the action cards. The 10 with this symbol on and the 4 with this symbol on are expansions, so put them aside for now. Sort the action cards into 5 stacks based on their card back, they'll show you a number of meeples from 1 to 5. Shuffle them into 5 stacks face down. Stack 5 has just the Your Majesty card. Place the round marker on round 1 of the round track and place the Castillo on its space in the bottom right of the board. Players pick a player colour and take the 13 power cards, 30 caballeros and grande of their colour as well as one of the secret discs. They put the score marker on zero points. The 16 smaller cards with the plus and minus numbers on is another expansion so we're going to put those aside for now too. Shuffle the 9 region cards. Reveal one and put the king on that space. The region the king is in is called the king's region. Each player draws a region card and places their grande and two caballeros in that region, returning all region cards to the box. Each player takes 7 caballeros as their supply known as the court. Place the rest next to the board in the general supply called the province. Setup is complete. Choose a random start player. The game is played over 9 rounds, each of 5 phases. Phase 1. Reveal action cards. Turn over the top card of each of the 5 decks of action cards. The Your Majesty card in the 5th pile is the only card in that stack. Phase 2. Play power cards. Starting with the start player and going clockwise, players will play one power card from their hand. In this first round of the game, the players will have all 13 cards available to them. Cards played must be a different value from all power cards played so far, so if the first player plays a 7, no players may play their number 7 card. Phase 3. Take turns. This starts with a player that played the highest value power card. First, take a number of caballeros from the province to the court shown in the middle of the power card. Then the player selects one of the face-up actions and will place a number of caballeros shown on the bottom of that card into a region on the board, and play the special action on that card. This could be done in any order. To place caballeros, they go from your court into any number of regions adjacent to the king. You don't have to place them all, but if you don't have enough in your court, you forfeit the ability to play the rest. One key rule in the game is that nothing can go into, out of, or change in the king's region in any way, including scoring tiles. Note that France and Portugal are not regions. Also, any number of caballeros could go into the Castillo, but the player must declare out loud how many are going in. The Castillo does not count as a region for game effects. For the special action, the player may perform it if they want, but if they do, they must be performed in full. For example, Intrigue allows you to move up to two of your own caballeros on the board and two of your opponents, so you must move four meeples or none. Assuming there are enough on the board, of course. When moving, caballeros can never move out of the Castillo, but they can move from anywhere into it. When complete, the player will discard the action card into a discard pile, the Your Majesty card goes back into its space face down. The player that played the next highest value power card will take the next turn. Once every player has taken a turn, we move to phase 4, end of round. Give the player that played the lowest action card this round the start player marker. Put the power cards played this round into a face down discard pile. Move the round marker down one space, go back to phase 1. If the round marker lands on a lily, you go to phase 5, general scoring. This is in the 3rd, 4th and at the end of the game after the ninth round and is played over 3 steps. Step A. Players set a region on their secret disc and place it face down. Step B. Open the Castillo. Players score for having the most caballeros in the Castillo, as shown on the board. So 5 points for first, 3 for second and 1 for third. All tied players score the next lowest points total. For example, if players are tied for second place, they each score the points for third place. Players then move their caballeros that were in the Castillo to the region selected on their secret disc. Score each region in the order shown on the left of the board using the same scoring rules. 
The Grande itself does not count for the majority, but if you win the region with the King and or your Grande, you get two point bonus for each of them in that region. Some action cards allow you to score during play, the King and Grande points are still added. After the first or second general scoring, go back to phase one and start a new round. After the ninth round and the third general scoring, the player with the most points wins, tied players share victory. Okay, let's look at the very few changes for the three player game. First, place the board on the two to three player side. All regions and the Castillo only award points for first and second. Secondly, and this is optional, remove the fourth stack of action cards. This will make the game a bit more competitive. And that's all the changes for three players. For two players, you include all those changes for the three player game, except you have to remove the fourth stack that is not optional for two players. And there's a few extra changes to make to add a dummy third player. Shuffle an unused set of power cards for the dummy player to use and give them all of their caballeros. After the player and king setup, instead of returning the region cards to the box, shuffle them all for the dummy player to use as well. At the start of round two, draw two region cards and place two caballeros in the region for the dummy player. If they're at caballeros or the king's region is drawn, then don't place any. Before players play power cards, reveal a dummy player power card. Players can't play power cards matching the value as normal. When taking actions, the dummy player will always discard the available action card with the most caballeros. They do not take an action or play any caballeros. And if your player's action card will require the dummy player to make a choice, just skip it. The dummy player can never be start player and will never gain points. Okay, let's look at the mini expansion starting with new regency. Use the 10 cards as stack 5 to replace the Your Majesty card and treat stack 5 like any other stack. These cards have different actions to move the king, including moving them to France or Portugal and even allowing a player to add caballeros into the king's region. The next mini expansion is the 4 alternative action cards you add after you've played a few games. Randomly move 1 card from stack 1, 2 from stack 2 and 1 from stack 4 and replace them with these 4 cards. Finally we have the power shift mini expansion that uses these little cards. Shuffle the 16 cards, deal 3 to each player and turn the rest of the box. Players are going to draft these left by selecting one, placing it face down in front of them, passing two cards to the left, receiving the two from the player on their right, and doing that again until all cards have been chosen. When a player plays a power card, they may play one to change the value of that card. The total value must still be unique to each player, so if a player plays a five and a plus two, no player can play a seven in any combination. The player with the lowest total will be the start player in the next round, and that's all the mini expansions. That's how you play El Grande, the 2023 edition. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video goes live. You can follow me on Insta, Twitch and YouTube at Just of the Rogue. You can find the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Just of the Rogue. Find the blog at justoftherogue.com. I've been Rob aka Just of the Rogue. I'll see you soon.